Hello, and welcome to this week's episode of Digital Dorsey. My name is Ken Dorsey. My call sign is Kilo Alpha 8, Oscar Alpha Delta. And today I am recording from the DX Engineering showroom inside the Summit Racing Facility in Talmadge, Ohio. I wanted to go over uh, just the basics on some cabling issues. It's come to my attention that people are a little bit confused about cables, what to use on radios for various interfaces. So I wanted to just kind of touch base on some of the cables that are out there and what you have and what uh, you could use for certain situations, especially uh, USB and uh, video. So we're going to talk about USB first. Uh, basically, there is a plethora of USB cable types. Uh, your standard is the USB 2.0 cable. Uh, the newest USB is now the USB Type-C cable. Uh, this is a great new uh, invention by the USB folks because it no longer is keyed. So you can put this cable into the USB port e in either uh, horizontal uh, configuration and it doesn't change anything. It will work no matter which way you plug it into the port. Great idea. Uh, then we have the USB 3.1 cable, and the way you can tell the 3.1 from the 2.0 is that the 3.1 cables will always have a blue plastic uh, insert in them. So you have the A 2.0 cable and the A 3.1 or 3.0 cable. Then also in the uh, USB 2.0 we have a micro USB cable. In the USB 3.0 and 3.1, we also have a micro USB cable, but its cable is actually 10 pins instead of the 5 pins that the USB 2.0 micro cable is. In USB 2.0, we also have a 5 pin mini plug, and then in 2.0, we have a Type B connector that looks like that. In 3.0, they've added some to the Type B connector, so it's a little bit larger connector for Type B in uh, 3.0. Uh, and again, it's going to be blue, so you'll be able to know that that's if you see a blue um, plastic insert in the cable, you'll know that it's actually a 3.0 cable. And I have some examples of those cables right here, so we'll just go through a couple of them here. So this is your standard USB A type cable for 2.0. As you can see, it doesn't have a blue insert in it, so it's the standard 2.0 USB. This is pretty much the, the standard cable. Uh, this is your USB B cable for 2.0, so that's your USB B plug. Um, this is the USB C plug, so you can kind of see it's, it's just a rounded plug, and I can plug that into the USB port in either direction, and it will still work. Uh, this is the USB B mini cable, and this is the USB B micro cable. That's pretty much a standard cable for a lot of the cell phones, although a lot of cell phones are starting to go to the USB C cable because it is easier. Uh, the USB B cable, the B plug with the A plug, I can get to the other end of it here, I had a cable. <laughs> this is generally referred to as a printer cable. And the reason it's referred to as a printer cable is because most USB printers use a USB B female connector on the printer. So you would plug the, the male connector into the uh, printer on the female side of the B, and then you have your A cable that would plug into your computer or your laptop. So I'm going to sh demonstrate on uh, this is an FT890. On the FT890, they have a USB port here, and it is a USB uh, B, 2.0 B type. So to plug the cable in, it is keyed, so you will not have to make sure you're on the right direction, and it just plugs in like so. Very easy to do that. Not so easy to do it if, the, if the, your radio is sitting on the desk and you've got a couple radios there and you're trying to reach behind it. Behind it. I've, I've experienced that myself. It's sometimes difficult to get the cable plugged in, but that's the way the, uh, the cable would plug into the radio. So that's a USB 2.0 B male plug and then your USB 2.0 male A plug. Now I'm going to go on to HDMI. There are also three types of HDMI cables. You have your standard HDMI which you should be pretty much familiar with if you've uh, seen or used HDMI at all. There's also a mini HDMI cable and there's also a micro HDMI cable. And Again I have all three versions of those. So this is our standard US, uh, excuse me, our standard HDMI cable. Everyone should be pretty much familiar with that if you've done anything with HDMI. This is the HDMI mini HDMI cable. 
And then this is the HDMI micro HDMI cable. So those are your three choices for HDMI. Um, again, pretty much standard for that. From there we go to DVI. Now DVI gets a little complicated because there are a lot of variations of DVI. Uh, first of all, you have two different types of DVI. You have DVI-D and DVI-I. The DVI-E is, or the DVI-I, excuse me, is the DVI integrated cable. The DVI-D is the DVI digital cable. Uh, there's also a DVI-A, which is a, a analog only cable. So the basic difference is your DVI-D or digital connector only supports digital video. You cannot run anything out of this connector into like a standard analog, like a computer VJ monitor or anything like that. It has to be a digital input coming off the output of this connector. The DVI-I, however, does do both digital and analog. And the difference is you'll have these four pinholes here that you can see. Those are actually the analog version of the signal. So if you use a DVI-I with a cable that supports analog and digital, you can get a cable that will plug into like a VGA port on a standard computer monitor that will work instead of having to use a digital monitor like a, an HDMI monitor or something like that. Uh, again, the A cable is just analog only. So then uh, there's also a single link, what they call single link cable, and there's a dual link cable. Uh, the only difference is the dual link cable just supports, has more uh, signals coming into it that uh, has, supports higher resolutions. So again, you have that in both the DVI-D, the DVI-I, you'll either have your single link or your dual link cable. And the dual link, again, is just uh, a more, supports a higher resolution signal. Now again, on the back of the 890, we have a DVI port, um, and, and more, more of the transceivers that are coming out on the market are, start, support, are <laughs> starting to support uh, the display, direct display connections. Uh, the 890 and the 990 use the DVI-I connectors. The IC7610 uses a DVI-D connector, and the FTDX-101D and the uh, 101MP both have DVI-I connectors as well. So again, you're have, gonna have to know what connector you have on the back of your transceiver to get the correct cable. I have an adapter here. This adapter is a DVI-D adapter. As you can see, there's no uh, four pins on this adapter, so we know that's a digital only adapter, and that goes from DVI to, v, uh, to HDMI. So if I have an HDMI monitor, I can take this adapter and I can still plug it into the, the DVI-D adapters will work in the DVI-A connectors. You can't do go the opposite way though. If you have a DVI-A connector, you cannot plug it into the DV, or a DVI-I connector. You cannot plug it into the DVI-D port. So make sure that you are getting the right connector for the port type. And again, uh, DVI-I or DVI-D. A DVI-D will plug into a DVI-I but it won't go the opposite way. You cannot plug a DVI-I cable into a DVI-D connector. It won't fit because there's no holes there for the four pins that are in the uh, DVI-I. So that's the uh, adapter. Uh, you can also get a cable that will go direct to HDMI, but you would basically then take a, either an HDI ca HDMI cable, plug into this adapter, plug it into your HDMI monitor, and then you will have your uh, display on your, on your monitor for your radio. So that's all I have today for adapters. I just wanted to kind of go through some of the cable types so you kind of understand what is there and what you need for certain radios. And again, DVI-I versus DVI-D. Make sure that you look carefully at the connector, figure out what connector is on the radio for your DVI, and make sure that you get the right adapter or the right cable to go into that port. So with that, all that's all I have this week. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please contact uh, DX Engineering at dxengineering.com or Digital Dorsey at dxengineering.com. I'd uh, love to hear from you. Uh, until next week, 73.